Over the past decade, the Barbados Community College has been admitting around 30 students to its music program annually. And according to head of the department, Roger Gittins, many are keen on turning their passion into a career. I believe that our students now are looking not just at Barbados, they're looking at doing cruise ships, they're looking at going into the US, going into England as well. And as a result, they are also looking at a variety of careers in music. I think previously persons only thought of performing. We have had some recent graduates out of Acadia University who are into music therapy, who have graduated from music therapy and they're working in Canada. So music is not just performing, there are persons who are producing music, persons who are writing jingles, etc. Mr. Gittins was speaking during the college's Music on the Mount event which gave students an opportunity to showcase what they learnt over the last academic period. Well, this is an exam, but it's open to the public. It's where we grade our ensembles. We have 13 ensembles. These are groups of um, various groups. We have a big band, we have a choir, we have a steel band, we have jazz groups, pop groups. And the goal here is that they are getting a group grade, an ensemble grade. And we open up to the public so they have an audience and it replicates an actual concert setting. So we've invited schools along, give them an idea of what it is that we do here at BCC. So we kill two birds with one stone. To welcome you and yours to the island. Cause he is where you, where you belong. Andrine McLean was one of the participants. She has her sights set on a career in music. It's been something I've been wanting to do for a very long time. Um, I spent some time obtaining a bachelor's and then working in corporate, but it's been a long time coming and I think that I made the right choice coming here to pursue my passion. Jazz is my, that's my, that's my baby. I absolutely love jazz. It's the, it's the elegance, it's the, just the softness and the subtlety of the genre that really gets me. Shane Ryan is a second year bass player. So I originally started on keys, but then I really got into a lot of Nicholas Branker music, and obviously he's predominantly a bass player. And I like the unique ability as a bass player to sort of lend to everything that's happening in the music. You, you take a little bit from the drummer, help the vocalist out a little bit, help the keyboardist out a little bit. It's almost like you're in the background, but without it, the music doesn't feel the same. So it makes me feel important while not being the center of attention in the music. Sheen, however, is still weighing his options on what the future holds. I think for now I'm just looking to get through this program and then maybe I will try to get into some cruise work and take a year and figure out my path from there. Um, I think the pandemic has shown that having one like source of income isn't the best thing to do. So if I do go to UE, I may do something that's not music. But as of right now, my attention is on music. Music on the Mound was last held on a reduced scale in 2020 due to COVID-19. Sharika Griffith. CBC News.